Hi, Capo. So after all the feasting Thursday, the shopping Friday, Cyber Monday, it's time for a little break. Yeah, many are hoping Tuesday after Thanksgiving is the start of a whole new tradition. WGN's Amy Rutledge here to tell us more. Yeah, Giving Tuesday, which I think if they were smart, they would have done Tuesday before Thanksgiving, before everyone starts spending money on Friday and Cyber Monday. But nice. still a good lesson for the kiddos. Organizations all across Chicago land are participating in Giving Tuesday. Most of this is online, and if you spent any time on social media today, you likely saw organizations soliciting donations for Giving Tuesday. It's not only a day to give financially, but also to give your time and a good time of year to teach kids how to get into the spirit of giving. We have some inventory of t-shirts we would love for you to help us count, and we have some folders we would like to put together. Today, education has moved outside the classroom for students of McCormick College in Chicago. And this time, they are also the teachers. Uh, welcome to Providence State now. Helping to show others the importance of giving back. It feels so great to be able to give back. Today, Brianna Ullman and several of her classmates are volunteering at Providence St. Mel School in the East Garfield Park neighborhood. On this, the fifth annual Giving Tuesday. I just think it's super important to be able to give back because they're giving so much to us, like no matter whether we see it or not, there's so much that goes on. And what we put into the community um, will then like come back to us. McCormick students are working in several Providence St. Mel offices today, highlighting a lesson the school's president works to instill in her students year-round. It's about giving of self, understanding that the world is not only about you, that there's people that may need additional um, resources and help. And and just lending a caring hand and listening and, and being thankful, being thankful for the blessings that you have. That is what Giving Tuesday is all about. It started in 2012, the Tuesday after Black Friday and Cyber Monday, as giving, largely fueled by social media. That first year, an estimated 13 million people gave online. Last year, that number toppled $116 million across more than 70 countries. <laughs> But after the frenzy of post-Thanksgiving shopping, how do we teach younger kids to give instead of just want? Lisa Dietlin is the president of the Institute of Transformational Philanthropy. You need to lead by example. Um, you have to show your children that you're giving. Lisa says it's important to show kids when you make financial donations. If they get an allowance, offer a bonus for extra work to be donated to a charity of their choice. Does your child or do you want to lift something up or get rid of something? So lift something up could be education, the arts, a new playground, a new swimming pool, a new park, or get rid of something. You know, I want to help people who are hungry. I want to stop hunger. I want to stop cyberbullying or I want to stop something. If doing instead of giving is in your plan, help your child start small. Help a neighbor, rake leaves, shovel, help with decorations, maybe visit with the elderly. Highlight daily kindness your child can do, regardless of how much money he or she does or does not have. Philanthropy doesn't mean you have lots and lots of money or that you can't be it because you don't have lots and lots of money. Think about philanthropy this way. It's just a grown-up word for sharing. Really, really smart. Lisa says, remember, organizations need money and assistance 365 days a year, not just the last two months of the year. So if you can't give now, make it a point to give in the summer months or in the spring. And if you do decide to give money, remember to be smart about it and do your research. We've got links to several organizations on our webpage, including the Better Business Bureau, Bureau which can help you vet out an organization to make sure your money is going where you want it to. Because there's also lots of scams out there, unfortunately, taking advantage of people this time of year. Even if there aren't scams, there are some organizations that give more to the actual charity exactly. as opposed to the running of the charity. Right. So right. Uh, Lisa can help out with that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much, sure. Amy. New push to add a star to the Chicago 